Duncan. He is in his sixth season at the helm in Conway, Arkansas. Here's Liam Priestley, and we are underway, Shea Stadium here in Peoria. Now, as far as the weather conditions are concerned, we don't really have much of a wind at all. That played a little bit of a factor, if you will, on semifinal Friday here in the Valley, but we have had rain and sometimes some heavy rain this morning here in central Illinois, but we've just had this light drizzle here for the last hour or so. Now this field holds up so well, it drains incredibly well, so we're expecting a well-played match. There's really no excuses here. It's perfect for the players. Cool temperatures gives them a lot of energy, and this, this surface is excellent as, and it's held up extremely well considering the matches on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You know, we have discussed the, the brick wall that we call the defense for the Missouri State Bears, but let's go and harken back to the first half of their semifinal matchup against the Evansville Purple Aces. They were very aggressive and on the attack for the better part of that opening 45 minutes. Yeah, Missouri State in the semifinal possessed the ball a lot in Evansville's end of the field, and they want to do some of that today. San Roman. We'll get the cross, and it is collected by Liam Priestley. There you see him, 11 shutouts now on the season, and that is tied for first all-time for shutouts in a season in Missouri State history. Bates. Last touched by the Bears of Central Arkansas. Got to watch it here when we mention Bears here, Ty. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> Don't be Got confused. Got decipher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the purple bears are the white bears. <laughs> now Brojacki giving chase and cut off nicely there by the Defensive Player of the Year in the Missouri Valley Conference, Nick Burtonshaw, the senior from England. Burtonshaw playing more centrally today than he did in the semi. And this one right on, and Priestley handles it off the shot taken by Blake Stricker. And as you would expect, Priestley, very cleanly. It's a wet ball. It could be slippery, but he's very sure with his hands as he lunged to his right to keep that one out. Long pass to Lewis and a little bit off the mark. We'll get the throw in for Central Arkansas. When you talk about Missouri State's offense, Connor Ingram is their primary scorer this season. Yeah, Josh Dowling does a lot of work, though, ahead of Ingram. Ingram more a withdrawn forward playing off of Dowling. So they're a decent combination, and a lot of the success for, for Ingram is due to the work of Dowling, uh, who's the spearhead up there. And here's Ingram here wearing number nine, right next to him, number 14, Dowling, and uh, a taller young man. So obviously someone that you can identify when trying to make especially some of those long passes. They call them target players. Here comes Missouri State trying to get their first rush. There's Dowling there. Wilkin settles it back. Missouri State a very patient club. Here's Lewis. Can't cut in and Central Arkansas defended nicely. Well, and there was some service towards Brodacki, but it got cut out, so that's the key. Can they get the ball all the way into Brodacki? One-on-one, -on -one, he's devastating. This is Laird, playing catch with Wilkin. This is Hebert for Missouri State. I spoke to Ross Duncan, the Central Arkansas coach, right before the match, and he said they wanted to go high pressure. They did not want Missouri State to set up this possession game, which they did in the first half in the semifinal against Evansville. And the first handle here for Mark Olson, just to kind of further accentuate, if you will, what Missouri State has done as a club defensively and what Ross Duncan and his troops are going up against. The Missouri State Bears have now played 16 matches and they have only given up eight goals in regulation. It's hard to beat a team that will not give up goals. and they, They're always in the game, right? Absolutely. There's Pepe San Roman uh, from Madrid, Spain. Nice touches out of midfield he had on Friday night in the semifinal. 12 points on the season, four goals and four assists for the senior from Spain. Bert Shaw. 
Ebert. Getting in the 18-yard box. Yeah, Reidner won that one. Remember, Reidner cleared the ball off the line in the semifinal. He did. To help Central Arkansas make it to overtime. Strong game defensively for Reidner and Central Arkansas. That was some drama when he, he saved, saved the day, clearing the ball off the line and, yep. and really having to reach out the right leg to keep it out. Quite a battle going on with Vintermeyer for a while there, that too. That was. That was a couple of war horses. Abata swings it out. Stricker. And there's Reitner there. Just a little over five minutes in the opening half of our championship game here at Shea Stadium. Missouri State Bears and the Central Arkansas Bears doing battle for the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. The bottom. And there's San Ramon. Here's the pressure that Ross Duncan talked about trying to keep Missouri State from getting comfortable in moving the ball around at will as they did in the semifinal possession line. Now the counterattack. Jackson. Jackson giving it a boot and handled easily by Liam Priestley. By the way, in that uh, shutout and regulation for Liam on Friday night, that's now 25 career shutouts for the senior goalkeeper for MSU. Here's Holmes. Swings it back to Reitner. Stricker. Well, you see what he had in mind. Switched the point of attack, but he didn't deliver it. Now they find Kabata. Kabata. Kabata getting the cross and again handled by Priestley there. Looked like more of a shot on goal. It's always pretty exciting when they do get the ball to that left flank because Kabata is ready in the one-on-one -on -one situation. So at a minimum get a cross in. And I do think that was designed as a cross. He just didn't hit it the way he wanted to. But he tends to be able to beat the player at least enough to strike a ball across the face of the goal. Reidner. You hear the shouts from the bench to try and get Missouri State to play in Central Arkansas's end and keep them in that end. Don't let them out is the shout from the bench by John Leamy. Nate Lancaster, there's Coach Leamy there on the Missouri State bench. Lancaster here handling the throw in for the Central Arkansas Bears. Central Arkansas started out the season 0-5, but once they got in the Valley play, Coach Duncan really kind of got his team in a nice groove and winds up getting the Coach of the Year honors in the Valley this year. And then Nicholas Brodacki found his stride. In fact, four goals in one match, yeah. which is a record at Central Arkansas. Priestley. This is Laird. Laird's got some space. Laird. Outside. This is DeYoung. Back to Laird. Midfield. There's Wilkin with the left foot, and that one goes wide. The first shot attempt by MSU this afternoon. Stuart Wilkin out of Surrey, England. He's a busy attacking midfielder, and he's looking for any opportunities from distance. Remember, it's a wet ball. If you can get it on target, it's, it's always a challenge for the goalkeepers, especially on their first shot that they have to face each day. Mark Olson really was tough, especially on crosses, high crosses coming into his box in the semifinal on Friday. 
Here's Hebert. And now DeYoung will slide it over to Laird. Burton Shaw. And that is number 13, Dalton Knutson, the junior from Texas for Central Arkansas. There he is right there. San Roman swings it and reverses the field here to the near side. San Roman. And that one goes just a little too far. Now Central Arkansas trying to put that pressure on. There's Reidner cutting that pass off over to Holmes. And they'll swing it over to Kabata. Bates. Strecker. Here's San Roman. Jackson with the cross. And it goes to Kabata. Kabata. Knudsen. Oh, that one slid just past the far post. It appeared that Lee and Priestley saw that late because of the deflection. He wasn't tracking it, and it was only about a foot wide. This cross goes all the way across the face of the goal. Kubata does a good job of collecting it, keeping it in. And then this ball is struck first time low through some traffic. And look at Priestley reacted late, I thought, on that one because of the deflection. San Roman with the corner. Going far post and Priestley will snare it. Good work a moment ago by San Roman to get the ball wide to Jackson for that initial cross of that sequence. Ingram giving chase. Here comes Ingram. And Lancaster doing a terrific job getting back on D for Central Arkansas. Excellent job, Lancaster, from the left back position coming all the way across to cover for Central Arkansas. Lewis in traffic trying to get the cross. It goes all the way through. Dowling catching up. Pressure by the MSU Bears. Now ahead trying to get it over to Wilkin. And the Central Arkansas Bears finally clear some of that pressure the most we have seen so far in this first half from Missouri State. Now Brodacki has kind of floated out to the left side. He's just trying to avoid the situations where the Missouri State Bears invariably have Burton Shaw behind him and Hebert in front of him if he's in the center. Kabata. Back to Holmes, back to Kabata. Central Arkansas reversing the field here, trying to find Jackson a little off the mark on that pass. And Jackson cut off by Lewis. Here's DeYoung, number 16. And Bates will catch up to it for the Central Arkansas Bears. Dowling hound dogging him. The diving chest pass there by Hebert. Yeah. <laughs> Here's DeYoung. There's Hebert there. Shaw. Can't make a connection to Ingram. We play on. I like this by Central Arkansas. Reidner wins it. Knudsen combines. They work the ball across field with four or five passes together rather than just belt it up the field. Here's San Ramon. Far sidelines. And a cross and last touch by Missouri State. So we'll get our second corner of the opening half for the Central Arkansas Bears. Yeah, the ball all the way towards the back post and wisely knocked out as Colton Jackson was lurking at the back post for Central Arkansas. Now you know that Dalton Knudsen's gonna be one of the targets in their number 13 for Central Arkansas. He was dominant in the air on Friday night. We see Brodacki inside the six-yard box right there, and there it's punched out by Priestley. Yeah. 
Kubata. Jackson finds Brodacki in the midfield. There's Knutson. And he had a couple of white jerseys flanking him there. Yeah, Knutson has a bit of skill and decent touch for the usually big guys like that just go on brute strength and, uh, and their size. But uh, he's got some skill as well. Wilkin trying to chip it ahead to Langan and Central Arkansas forces the throw in deep in their territory as we are under 30 minutes left in this opening half of this championship game in the Missouri Valley Conference between the top seed Missouri State Bears and the second seed Central State uh, Central Arkansas Bears. This tells you something. Missouri State has four guys back only on one man, Nicholas Brodacki. They're not going to take any chances, are they? All right, Tony, let's take a look at the standings that wrapped up in the Valley this season. A presentation of Perino Dog Show, always crafted in the USA since 1926. And Missouri State so consistent, as we mentioned, in terms of not giving up goals. That gave them the top spot in the regular season. Central Arkansas behind all the scoring by Brodacki come in second. And that helped them get here because they got the bye all the way to the semifinal on Friday night by virtue of finishing first and second in the conference. See Mark Olson from Denmark. Goalkeeper from Central Arkansas. John Lamy, 253 victories in his tenure, 26 years of it in Springfield, Missouri. This is Holmes. Knutson. Stricker. A little give and go. Kabata couldn't grasp the handle and settle it. And Lancaster right there. How oh, a long shot taken, and Priestley will let this go out and we'll get a goal kick. And time now for today's Enterprise Bank MVC Scholar Athlete of the Match. It is Central Arkansas's Dalton Knutson, the junior defender from Spring, Texas. 2017 Cosetta Academic All District Selection has a 3.95 QM GPA in finance and has been named to the MVC Honor Roll twice, the official bank of the Missouri Valley Conference Enterprise Bank and Trust member FDIC. Yeah, Knudsen, easy to pick out, 6'2, 200 pounds. He's a dominant physical presence in the center of the park for Central Arkansas. Langan trying to find Ingram. And Lancaster again getting back on defense for Central Arkansas. We've seen Central Arkansas, I think, possess the ball a lot more so far in this contest compared to Missouri State. Missouri State has not been able to put the type of possession game together that they did against Evansville in the semi. Remember, there were times where they had 17, 18, 19 mm -hmm. passes, and here uh, the pressure from Central Arkansas has managed to break up that sort of a rhythm of play and possession for Missouri State. And in that match, we were talking about how Evansville's defense chase, 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 and we were really surprised at their performance in the second half, playing a second game in three days and chasing in the first half how good they look not only in the in the second half but in the overtime, overtime sessions yeah too. They, they really showed us uh, that they had a lot of ability to reach down deep down and, and really come out and, and come out with a different approach and disrupt missouri state in that second half. langan nice ball langan langan Trying to get some space here. Langan. And last touch by UCA. So MSU will get their first corner kick of the afternoon with just over 25 minutes remaining in the opening half. De Young looks like he wants to set up an in swinger. Again, no wind here, not a factor at all.
Go get it. And San Ramon. And that's just poor execution. You need to get it past that first defender to threaten it at all. It looks like, from what I've seen, even from both teams, uh, less accuracy as far as some of the passes are in what we saw there, specifically that corner kick. I don't know, does, does sometimes a wet ball have an, have an effect on something like that, Tom? The wet surface, you know, you're, you're a little bit concerned about your planted foot, the ball you're not, you know, the foot you're not striking the ball with. And so it can affect you know, your ability and, and your control in general, just with a slippery ball and a slippery surface. Roman gets it out. The other thing to keep in mind and is a it's, whistle. it's a final. It's a championship right. final. There's a, an NCAA tournament bid at stake, so there's a little bit of nerves, too. You see that last attempt where the foul's called in favor of Central Arkansas. San Roman will handle it with the left foot. Chips up ahead, and there's Priestley, and he gets run into, and that was Knutson. Yeah, they called the foul on Knutson. He's kind of barged in there. Not sure, sure that it was a real obvious foul. He's just bigger than some of the guys he's running through. And he really couldn't even get out of the way out of Priestley at the end, and they do tend to protect goalkeepers. And, uh, that's why the free kick's called there. Yeah, that's, I mean, you could tell he was making an effort to try to avoid the contact, but he was having a lot of his weight carrying him forward. I don't think there was any no intention harm yeah. done with, with the hit there by Knutson. Yeah, no harm intended at all. Here's the pressure from Central Arkansas as they are not letting Missouri State dictate the pace of the game the way Missouri State did in the first half of the semifinal against Evansville. Ingram giving chase for Missouri State. Settles. Now here comes Lewis in the corner. Lewis trying to get across and will get the throw in for MSU. Langan will handle this uh, throw in for the Missouri State Bears as we are at the midway mark of this first half scoreless between Central Arkansas and Missouri State, the top two seeds that finished up the regular season in the Valley. And with that, we get another corner. We'll see if Dylan DeYoung, the freshman from New Zealand, Handles this corner again. Gets this one far post and Central Arkansas. We'll clear the pressure. Burton Shaw looks like he wants to handle the throw in here for MSU. Well, he's going to give it up. And he's going to let uh, Jake Laird handle it. No. Nope. Check that. <laughs> Dylan DeYoung's got to go all the way across the field. Well, I think it's smart for Burton Shaw to not take it. You want him right here defending Brodak. You don't want him caught over on the sideline. And we get a substitution. Nicholas Sanquist, the junior from Sweden, will come in for Ross Duncan's team. By the way, our next broadcast of the Valley on ESPN3, Thanksgiving weekend. Join us. It's the 2017 MVC Valley Championship from Redbird Arena in Normal, Illinois. It's on November 23rd through the 25th, and the winner receiving the automatic bid to the NCAA Volleyball Championships. Again, that is coming up on November 23rd through the 25th, the Valley's Volleyball Championship from Normal, Illinois, and Redbird Arena, it's the Valley on ESPN3. Yeah, Scott, if, if you've got your key defensive leader and defender of the year, Nick Burtonshaw, coming out to take throw-ins, that's not what you want to do. You want to keep him in the center of the park where he can keep everything in front of him and keep everything tight at the back for Missouri State. And keep an eye on number nine. That too. That's, that's what he ended up having to do immediately after the throw-in. 
There's Burton Shaw on the ball now. Certainly a team leader and one of the captains for Missouri State. And that one's going to go all the way through to Mark Olson, sophomore from Denmark. 8-8-1 eight, eight is his record this season for the Bears of Central Arkansas. Radacki getting a touch there, laying it off, but he wants it back. When he, when he lays it back, he's already going into space. He'd like to receive the return pass, but Missouri State is really closing that down. Lancaster here for the Central Arkansas Bears. Wearing number 27. And Hebert will head this one out. San Roman swings it back to Bates. And he'll reverse the field to Stricker. Stricker on Ingram. Back to Bates. Now we'll see what Lancaster wants to do here. Lancaster. Very well defended. It's called a stifling defense. Missouri State in the conference regular season only gave up five goals in eight games of conference play. That's stingy. And the, with Liam Priestley behind this well-organized defense, it's almost impossible to score against them. Stricker with a long drive too far and Priestley handles it for the Missouri State Bears. Under 19 minutes remaining in this opening half. Deadlocked zeros for the top seed Missouri State Bears and the second seed Central Arkansas Bears. Good turn of speed Sanquist, there. Yeah, yes. Sanquist, very good control and shielded the ball as well. And Langan coming back. Good recovery run by Langan. Absolutely. Ingram, Laird. This is Lewis, number seven. No possession established there by Missouri nope. State. Again. Here's Woody. Reidner. into the midfield and again there's Laird Dolling there's D Young Robbins this is better possession but a lot of it's sideways and backwards because of the intense pressure being applied by Central Arkansas back to Hebert Ingram, header up ahead, cut off. Yeah, Ryder stepped in a good position Ooh, there man. defensively. Card coming out. Yeah, that had to hurt as down is Stricker. And I think the yellow card, is that on Ingram, I believe? I believe you're exactly right. Yellow card to number nine. Yep, Ingram for Missouri State getting the yellow. And Stricker, remember, it was his shot. Uh, that forced a, a loose rebound that Brodacki was able to capitalize on in the semifinal on Friday night. Yellow card issue to Missouri State number nine, Connor Ingram. So our first yellow card of the match goes to that young man, Connor Ingram, a junior from England. First team all conference. From Oxford. Oxford, as a matter of fact, yep. So now, Stricker, the injured. Yeah, maybe he had uh, his ankle already might have been uh, taped up. They're readjusting the tape on the boots. And they're changing boots, better footing. Olsen will give this one a boot, and Hebert with the header. Now Knutson. Yeah, Knutson wins every header. There's two in a row right there. <laughs> that 
It's that size advantage, man. Yeah, he's got good judgment. Uh, yeah, some of it is get, taking up the position early as well, something like rebounding at basketball. Mm -hmm. There's Lancaster. Yeah. Finding Woody. In Central Arkansas. Not only with a lot of possession, but I think at times also showing that patience you were talking about with the Missouri State on their possessions on, on, on Friday. I think the pressure game that uh, Ross Duncan talked about when I spoke with him before the match is paying, paying off because Missouri State not comfortable here. Is Dowling back to Ingram. Holmes does a nice job there. this pressure at midfield and they win it. Knutson. That's the first time I've seen the field really cut up there as Knutson tried to change directions. Oh, that's great stuff by Birdshaw. Yeah. Stepping in front to win the header. Blinked right next to Rodaki. But anticipation was outstanding by Birdshaw. And that's a size mismatch. Burton shows not a big guy, so he has to do it on quickness and anticipation. If he tries to muscle with Brodacki, uh, that's only going to go one way. Mm -hmm. That's going to go Brodacki in Central Arkansas. Yep. So we played over 30 minutes of this first half of the Missouri Valley Conference Championship match here at Shea Stadium in Peoria, Illinois. And we are deadlocked, nil-nil between two Bears, Missouri State and Central Arkansas. Lewis for Missouri State. Robbins swings it over to DeYoung. DeYoung. DeYoung trying to get past a couple of purple jerseys there. No, nothing doing. And again, Brodacki being blanketed that time by Hebert. Yeah, he was tied up for sure. Hebert anticipating well. Here's DeYoung again. Getting the cross. And Central Arkansas doing a nice job of getting back on the defensive end as well. One of the players that's been more or less taken out of this game is a guy who's pretty dominant on Friday in the semifinal is Wilkin mm -hmm. from Missouri State. Remember how many touches Wilkin had? And, and he had a few shots from the perimeter, and, and we barely mentioned his name except in the very, very early minutes of this match. So he's not used to be being cha being a guy who's chasing. He's used to being able to Chased. work the ball and make, and make the other team chase. Yeah. Instead, uh, yeah, Central Arkansas, to their credit, have made Missouri State chase a bit. Get a substitution as Christian Ilya, the junior from Sweden, will come in for Ross Duncan's Central Arkansas Bears. San Roman coming off. Ilya, totally different style of play than San Roman. San Roman is a setup man, a distributor of the ball, kind of a playmaker. I think we saw. In fact, he was taken down, and there was a yellow card. Ilya is pretty strong mm -hmm. running with the ball and running at people. Number four for Central Arkansas. And last touch by Sandquist. So we'll go the other way with the throw in for Missouri State. A reminder, we'll have our State Farm intermission report coming up at the half of this title game here in Peoria, Illinois, between Missouri State and Central Arkansas. Stay tuned for that. Knudsen. This is Stricker. Stricker. Nice little give and go. And Stricker can't catch up to it. And here comes DeYoung. And Reidner. Nice job there cutting that pass off. Here's some pressure from Missouri State almost paying off. Woody. Oh, 
Is it possible that the utilities gather the other green and the other one? And another throw in coming for Missouri State. And the Bears will make a substitution here as Jake Buckle. And here you see him, the junior from North or New Yorkshire, excuse me, coming in as uh, speaking of Mr. Stuart Wilkin. He'll slide over to the MSU bench area. Yeah, that's a frustrated Stuart Wilkin. He's used to getting a lot more of the ball and, and dictating a lot of the possession out of midfield. And Central Arkansas pressured enough that Missouri State not able to use Wilkins' nice skill. He's a great passer. Reidner up to Bradaki. Nicholas. Yeah, Brudecki always hounded by yeah. at least two to three white shirts. DeYoung trying to get up ahead to Dowling. Reidner got up well. He did. Here's Lancaster. Not too far for Sandquist, but there's Knutson. And a throw in for Central Arkansas as we near 10 minutes remaining in our opening half. Another substitution, and this is Casper Anderson, Richard Freshman from Denmark. Also coming in for Missouri State, there you see number 12, Dave Stoll. He's a senior from the St. Charles area in St. Charles, Missouri, Weldon Springs. Brodacki comes off for a breather. Anderson logged a lot of minutes, especially in the overtime on Friday night in the semifinal. And he was pretty effective. He'll run right up front to where Brodacki was. Like for like in terms of the substitution. And we'll get a goal kick here from Liam Priestley with under nine and a half remaining. Again, barely any wind here today in central Illinois. Again, predominantly a rain shower, a little bit heavier early in the morning, but it was uh, coming down just a bit as we got this one underway between Missouri State and central Arkansas. The field in good shape. Ingram. Laird will handle the throw in for Missouri State. Laird. Back to Hebert. Robbins. Bates getting back on defense with the header, and there's Lancaster. Yeah, no problem for Bates back there. <laughs> Lewis trying to get it to the outside. Here's Missouri State. And this will be handled easily by Mark Olson, the goalkeeper for Central Arkansas. Mark Olson, as we mentioned, the goalkeeper, fifth already all-time in saves, fourth all-time in victories, and again, just a sophomore for the Central Arkansas goalkeeper. He, along with Brodacki, two more years. Valley teams have to deal with these two gentlemen. <laughs> Both teams extremely disciplined at the back and also applying very good midfield pressure. So where will the breakdown come from? Laird. Trying to get that one to Dowling, a little short. Holmes with the header. Now Sanquist gets it to Anderson. Out of Ilya. Oh, punches it ahead to Anderson, and Priestley aggressively comes up right at the line there at the 18-yard box. Well, Burton Shaw 
Doing a good job of getting his body in there just to keep Anderson away from Priestley. There's Birdshaw on the ball there. Smart defending. Buckle, who just came in. Burton Shaw. Dowling couldn't control. Mm -mm. Well, there's a scrum going on right there between Woody and number seven, Lewis. Woody shows some real strength on the ball there under pressure. Knudsen, Stricker giving chase. And the header by Laird, and we'll get uh, the throw in. Yes, no, actually a free kick. Stricker, free kick. yeah, kind of piled into him a little bit late. We'll see the contact here. Soccer is a contact sport. There you go. Foul is called. And the Stricker got hammered earlier by Ingram, and Ingram got a yellow card. Yep. Stricker got a little bit lucky, perhaps avoiding a yellow himself there. Couple more substitutions as Lucas Genty will come in for Central Arkansas and it's Ben Stroud heading out on the pitch for the Missouri State Bears. Ben Stroud from Christchurch, New Zealand. That's a long way from home. Burton Shaw has to give chase as we're under five minutes remaining in this first half. Lewis. Robbins. Laird. And back to Hebert. Yeah, the shouts from the Missouri State bench, keep the ball moving, do it again. In other words, get Arkansas, Central Arkansas chasing, get them moving side to side, uh, get six, seven, eight passes in a row, and then try to attack after things open up. Here's Stricker, out to Woody. Back to Stricker and... Switch the point of attack. Yep, from... See if you can find some space on the far side. Bates, and that pass is intercepted. That would be an errant pass. Genty, number six for Central Arkansas. And they'll let Olsen handle this with 3.30 remaining in our opening 45. Genty, Knutson, outside here to Stricker. Stricker. Anderson in the middle was signaling for it, but Stricker not able to loft the ball behind the defenders. Bates, long hit. Oh, ho, ho. and Stricker just couldn't catch up to it. Stricker putting in the miles here, trying to open up on the right-hand side and pass just a bit over hit. Central Arkansas wisely trying two times in a row to switch the point of attack to find that kind of space on the flanks. 28, Greg Stratton headed in to the remainder of this first half for Missouri State. We did not see him in the match on Friday. And there he is right there, helping out on on the defensive end with Ebert. Well, one of the keys for Missouri State is the depth that they have. They can go six, seven guys into their bench and still have players that can do the job. We've seen Central Arkansas actually, I think, use their bench a little bit more in this match comparatively more, speaking to Friday. More than they did on Friday for sure. Bates, long hit past Anderson. Physical break. 
Stroud. Good control there. That's Jones. Yeah. Jones got in much earlier in the half in the semifinals. He also got bang, banged up a bit. And the attempted cross by Stoll. Knocked out of bounds, throw in for Missouri State. Just over a minute remaining. No score. Buckle. Oh, nice. Here's Laird. And a throw in for Central Arkansas as Lewis, Lewis last touched that for MSU. These teams have really battled. Missouri State, as you expect, has kept things very tight at the back. But Central Arkansas, I think, were successful in the high pressure that Ross Duncan's told me they were going to employ. Uh, they created plenty of themselves just because they did not allow Missouri State to really move the ball around the way they're accustomed to doing. And you just saw that last play by David Stoll and falling down to the surface and you know checking the field after all the rain i mean as you mentioned this this is a terrific pitch that drains very well but we've seen a, a little bit of slipping and sliding going on as we get the countdown here to wind down the first half of this championship match between missouri state and central arkansas and we are scoreless after 45 minutes here at Shea Stadium in Peoria. And with the, the chat with the coaches this season is brought to you by Casey's General Store. Casey's famous for pizza. We're scoreless after the first half, and we check in with the head coach at Missouri State. Good to see you.